Smishka. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm doing a sensory painting for my new grandson's nursery on this level three 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And since babies are colorblind and can only see black, white, and gray, I'm just using black and white which will create some gray tones or shades. And studies show that black and white designs and abstract art help stimulate vision and brain development in babies. So I'm going for a busy painting with lots of interest for the little one to look at. I'm planning on doing a wandering split cup ring pour and some puddle pours and then reckon it with perhaps some of these tools here. I've got a marble, a rake, chains, and I've got some swipe tools from Tracy Reed Designs Etsy shop which I'll put a link to in the description. And the colors, or lack of colors, I'm using are Artist Loft Level 2 Mars Black. And I'm using Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Amsterdam Pearl White. And the consistency leaves a small mound that quickly disappears. And in case I do a swipe, I have mixed up some Tri-Art Titanium White and some Amsterdam Expert Oxide Black cell activators. And for this consistency, I'll need a total of approximately 14.2 ounces of paint by volume. And that would include if I'm using a base coat or any puddle paint. And I prepped my canvas with two extra coats of gesso, sprayed the back of my canvas with distilled water, and it made it nice and tight. And I taped the back with acid-free tape, and then I painted the sides for some extra coverage. So I think we're ready to get started. So I think I'm going to start off with some puddle pours and then do my wandering ring pour through them. Start off with that.
do another round. Now maybe some couple reverse order. These don't have to be perfect. They're gonna get wrecked. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with that. You can always add some more. Now, let's start this wandering ring pour right over here. Actually, I think I'm just gonna pour a little bit. Just start in. to put your pop in it. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Now, how to wreck it? Think. I'm gonna start off with just uh, a rake right through the center. Oh, not right through the center, that'd be boring. Maybe just like that. Okay. 
thing. Just put my cup in my bowl of water. Now what else? Go for a marble. Okay, I'm going to let that go off. Hmm. I think I'm going to start tilting it off. I'll use my corner catchers start. this corner. I think I see something in my paint. gloves off and decide what we're going to do here. I need to give it a torch, pop some of these air bubbles.
lots of air bubbles. I just kind of finished mixing up that paint. Wow, there's so many bubbles. I've never had to torch this much before. They're still popping. Okay. Hopefully that's all of them. Well, that looks pretty cool. But I think I want to play with some chains. So maybe... Can use some white. Okay. I think I want to put it over here. There's one. Get a small one. Just get that chain covered. Oops, a drip. I can fix that.
and we'll get it covered in paint. I'm liking that. I think I want to put some on the other side. I'm just going to change a quick little rinse off here. bit more paint in here. one.
Wow, that's looking pretty cool. Not sure if I should do some swipes in there or just leave it as it is. I, I think I, I like it just how it is. And just make sure that all of my corners are covered. I use a mirror so I can see the back. It's very handy. Surprisingly, I don't have very good coverage over on this side at all. Maybe I caught that. I hate having to touch up a painting afterwards. It's so much easier to do it when it's wet. A little bit on the bottom here. And that should do that. Just need to get my drips. Not sure if those cells are from the pearl paint or if they were from some air bubbles, could be both. I'll have to check those drips again in a few minutes. And in the description, you can find links to my Facebook groups, my popular videos, my discount affiliate links, and different ways you can follow me if you haven't yet. So please tap on the subscribe button and click the bell to follow me for more tutorials, new techniques, twists on existing techniques, experiments, color inspiration videos, and who knows what more. So here comes the close-up. I decided it needed a couple more chain pulls. So I did those off camera. Lots of lines, some cells, some interesting parts in here. Should keep the baby interested.